What is going on YouTube fam? It is Nasser Trucker. I am coming at you again with a fresh video. We just got our load after 4th of July and we are on the way home. Look at this guy, he wants to run me over. I wouldn't doubt it from one of those kind of companies. Just kidding. I love all kind of companies, all kind of drivers. But here's my rig right here. We're about to get inside. We're going to our pickup. We got two drops and I'm gonna bring you guys along the way with it. So make sure you stay tuned. All right, so I just wanna give you guys a heads up. So this load that I'm picking up, it has to be ran on negative 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my reefer on. I'm gonna guide you guys through how to do that. All right, so basically this is the reefer unit here. It's a whole separate motor and engine from the actual truck itself. So this is basically what cools your whole trailer. And when you're hauling freight, you know, it can go up to all the way frozen to, you know, regular commodity like watermelons just to keep it fresh. So this is a kill switch. I'm gonna just click that there. And this is the computer screen. As you're gonna see, it's gonna start turning on. It's gonna start prompting me to what I want. So this is the set temp. This is the actual temp. So this load is gonna be ran on negative 10. So I will go here, hold down, And the select key is gonna be the one in between these two arrows. Boom, select, set point change. This is where I change it to turn on and turn off, or it's gonna be ran on continuous, as you can see. So we're not gonna to touch that. So set point has been changed. And it's booting up right now. What's going on, everybody? If you haven't already subscribed to my channel by this point, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Comment, like, share, turn your bell notifications on so that way you know when I posted a brand new video for you guys. All right, so now it's gonna start beeping. Here it is, and now we're gonna turn it on. And we're good to go, baby. Now we're on the way to go pick up our load. We wanna be pre-cooled at negative 10 degrees because it's a frozen load. So stick around. What in the world is this bug? I actually posted this on a short clip on my channel as well. Somebody commented back. They said that it was called an assassin bug. And supposedly if it bites you, it does deliver a pretty mean bite. So guys, you gotta be safe even on the road and even in just life in general. So also I wanna give you guys a heads up. I posted a very crazy clip of a truck, or I'm sorry, a trailer that was burned down to the ground. So stick around to the end of the video so you guys can see that as well. Alrighty guys, we just got off on our exit towards our pickup. Company's about a mile away on the right side. We have officially gotten in through the gates. Uh, I've still gotta go and make a check-in. But as far as right now, we're just gonna pull up, go through the gate, make our check-in. We're gonna get assigned a dock, and uh, I'll go ahead and set you guys up so you guys can see what backing up looks like as well. This is actually perfect because this is a very tight spot. Um, I'm actually pretty excited so you guys can see. I don't know how I'm gonna set up the cameras to be honest though. I might have somebody hold it for me. I have no idea, but stay tuned. I got so you. So another thing I wanna show you guys is you always wanna be convenient for other drivers as well. So this is a one way in, one way out. 
kind of, kind of company. So I came through from the back side over there. I looped around and I came in here and then you have to walk through the gate right here, walk up the stairs and check in. And then you exit on the other side of the building because there's docks right here. So you don't want to be in the way of these people. As you can see, the gentleman's walking up right now. So anyways, I left my truck up there, walked over here. That 10% counts, baby. We got door one, which is going to be this one where this truck is right now, this little box truck. Once he pulls out, I'm up on the dock. Next. So I'll probably set the camera up somewhere right around here so you guys can see. Also, I want to let you guys know from where I was at at that truck stop till now, I had about 58 minutes of drive time. Like, that's how much the distance was from that truck stop to my pickup. I want to show you guys what the temperature is on on the reefer right it's now. It's 17 right now degrees. And that's negative 10 that it has to be on. So I'm going to keep my doors closed because that's what the dock guy told me. Once again, to give you guys a recap, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight, turn right into here, and then I'm going to make like an S to line up for the, for the first dock here. So usually, you like I said in my previous videos, you always want to have your truck lined up so that way your tail the end of your trailer is facing or headed towards the dock. So imagine what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go straight, turn right, and then I'm going to come back up towards this gate right up here. So when I turn right, I'm gonna go closer to the gate and then go left a little bit. So that way, basically my truck is gonna look something like this, right? So this is the bobtail, this is my trailer. So that way when I start lining up for the dock, it would go straight back. And basically I would be in the dock straight in like this. Also wanna give a big shout out to Rockstar Energy Drink. This is my literally go-to drink. It's sugar-free. I freaking drink this thing like every day, like almost every day I would say. So kudos to that, cheers. Here I come. Oh, here I come. So as you can see now from a different angle, I was sitting up there facing the camera. Then what I did was I did a hard right turn and then I went over to the right and I stood basically in the middle between those trucks and that gate. And I aligned my trailer to be on an angle towards my dock that's back here. So that's how I started to maneuver and I started just going straight back and then once I seen I was going into the dock, I started to straighten out my bobtail and then I pulled up and I backed it in. All right, so to give you guys a recap of basically what I just did, um, the fact that I had plenty of room because this is, it might seem like it's a tight spot for you guys, but trust me, it gets even tighter. confident I don't recommend you know doing exactly the way that I just did I don't recommend parking exactly that way because I went overly confident in this one as well I also did this in a previous video when I was blindside parking but I went overly confident knowing that I have plenty of space from this gate that's on my passenger side to the tail of my trailer right 
So when I started backing in, I basically was just focusing on being as close as I can to this uh, driver's side line that's painted on the ground for all truck drivers. So what I did after that was when I seen that I'm starting to bend a lot, then I pulled up, which straightened out my truck and my trailer. Then I seen on my mirrors exactly how much space I have from the truck, trailer, and the fence. And then on top of that, I seen if I was lined up with the, can I help you? <laughs> this guy was looking at me crazy. And then I seen that I was lining up with the line and my truck and trailer were aligned with the dock. And then I proceeded to back straight. Alrighty, so we are at the part of the video where I have to say goodbye. Thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed to my channel, who is supporting my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. At this point, you've been through the whole video. Um, I wanna say thank you to everybody who has turned on their bell notifications on. And honestly, it's been very tough in the trucking community lately. I'm not feeling it as much, but at the end of the day, I know that a lot of people depend on this job and Basically everything that they have going on in their life is you know crashing down on them at this point. It's very expensive uh, The rates are horrible. So on that note I'm just trying to spread positivity and make sure that everybody is getting you know What they need from this? I hope you guys have a great day Stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I mentioned earlier about a trailer being burned down But unfortunately I mistaken it when I looked through the video. It's actually the whole truck was burned down to the ground and part of the trailer i hope that this person made it through if not my condolences go out to him or her family guys it is very tough out here it's very scary you always have to keep in check of your truck make sure that you're always looking out for the most important things make sure you're staying safe and i want to let you guys know that i hope you guys have a great rest of the day or night and i will see you guys in the next clip